breaking news next on CBS News that six thousands of people stranded after the cancellation. When will airlines get back on track? Plus, well, a Halloween party turns into a nightmare as a car jumps the sidewalk along and crashes into a crowd. Take a look, a live look, Sky 2, live over scene of a deadly officer-involved shooting. This is happening right now in Van Nuys. Now, we know the shooting happened near Victory in Van Nuys. Yeah, according to LAPD, officers were responding to a man with a knife that was allegedly cutting car tires. No other injuries were if reported. We will have much more on this breaking story tonight on CBS 2 News at 11. And we have some more breaking news for you. Chaos for a lot of travelers. Yes, this is happening again. This time, American Airlines has canceled more than 1,700 flights this weekend, including dozens at LAX. The airline says the delays and cancellations are due to bad weather in Texas and staff shortages, especially among flight attendants. American Airlines did send us a statement. It says, in part, we continue to staff up across our entire operation, specifically for flight attendants. We have nearly 1,800 returning from leave starting November 1st, and the remaining coming back by December 1st. We will have much more coverage at 6.30. We'll talk to an expert about the travel trouble and the concern for the holiday. And good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmes. And I'm Leslie Money. Well, what a difference a year makes. You should be seeing more trick-or-treaters in your neighborhood tonight. Yeah, that's right. That's because most Southern California cities discouraged trick-or-treating last year following COVID guidelines. CBS 2, Rick Montanay is live in Pasadena where kids are ready to make up for lost time, a lot of trick-or-treaters, and a lot of candy. Happy Halloween, Rick. Yeah, happy Halloween, Chris and Leslie. You know, it's just about that time for the kids to head out and gather as much candy as they can take, and let's face it, their parents as well. Check out this home here. We've got the headstones, the spider webs, the fake blood. It is all out here on display. A lot more people this year are excited to return to the tradition. This home here, they tell me it took up several weeks to set up these decorations. Yeah. Last year, we know a lot of people around the South Bend decided to skip the annual trick.